We're here in week 13 versus the San Jose State Spartans. They run an up-tempo offense, and from the words of Coach Cook, we look to be running a bit more of a slow-down, pound-the-rock style offense today. We'll see how well that works, and hopefully we can hold them to low rushing yards. off here in San Jose. That's where he's going to take the kick out of the end zone and he's going to get a good block there and make a spin move and he gets to about the 40 yard line. Not a bad return to start the game off for our Raiders. Uh, we, uh, we, you know, the, the season's looking a little rough right now, but I really think this game and our next against Army, maybe we can prove something here and Maybe in the season four and eight even. That would be that would be insane. Third and one now. Olympia under center. Hand off to Robbie Mackey and he gets stuffed behind the line. Not sure why you're giving it to your fullback when Serge Cruz is in your backfield on third and one. So on fourth and two, it looks like Roger Lindsay's gonna pop. No, it's a fake actually. Not surprising. And he's got a man open down the field, but he's just gonna take it and he trucks the cornerback. Let's get the first down. Wow, that was that was risky of him, but Determination right there to get the first down. Second 10, Lance Roach in motion. That probably means a stretch, and it is going to be a stretch. Search group's just not quite fast enough to take that to the sticks quick enough. That's going to be third and six now. So third and six. Three running backs in the backfield. Fake hand off to Crenshaw, and he gets popped. Pitch to Cruz. It's going to be fourth down. And it looks like Crenshaw's actually down right now. The trainers and the coach. Coach Cook's out, actually, to go check on him. And he does not look like he's getting back up. I'm not sure exactly what happened. We'll hear more from him. But we're going for it on fourth down, and it's complete to Nicholas Chase, who gets rocked but gets the first down. That's good for a game. I hope Crenshaw's all right. But we may not see him again this game. That looks pretty serious. Third and nine now. And on the timing pattern, guess who? Lance Roach, who makes a man miss and gets knocked down at the 10-yard line. A few yards after the catch there, he is so good at catching the ball in stride and making something happen, and it looks like Crenshaw's got a strain back, and he's out for the season. Wow, that's, that's bad news. But this is good news, a little back shoulder post route to Nicholas Chase, and that's going to get us a touchdown. Not a bad first, uh, first drive there, we had a few fourth down conversions, and here on defense, looks like we're starting out strong. And this is unusual, us actually starting out strong on defense. Third and five now, we managed to hold him here, and oh, most picked off by Keenan Cunningham. That's, that's a shame. I thought he had that one for a second there. First and 10 though, Olympia back with the ball after a really strong defensive showing. Not making anything happen here though on the stretch play to Frank Charles. It's gonna be second and 14. Second and 14 now, Jason Price drops back. He's going to lob this one out, and it gets picked off to, by Johnson, their cornerback, who was with the wide receiver every step of the way. And he's going to get all the way to our 15 before being brought down. Oh, what a terrible throw. Well, mistakes happen. Second and eight now for San Jose State. Looks like they're in the option. And it's a pitch out to Nevins, who gets rocked at the line of scrimmage. He does get back, but they don't get much out of that. Third and eight now. Can we hold him? Defense looking really good today. He does get it off to Blackwell, but Blackwell gets stuck behind the line. That's going to be fourth and inches, and it looks like San Jose State send out the kick unit. Wow, so not bad from the defense. They kind of they kind of helped us out there. That was, that was bad offense. And here's more bad offense. Third and 11 now. We just can't seem to get anything going after that first drive. But here, a little stop route to Cotton, who makes a man miss. That's going to help out. We'll get a first down on that. Maybe another long drive with third downs will help out. It's going to end the first quarter, and it's a low-scoring game, 7-3. Hopefully our defense can keep playing this well. Good signs for the year to come. And the beginning of quarter number two here. Robbie Mackey in motion left. Um, Price making adjustments. Mackey back in motion right now. 
And the handoff to Serge Cruz, who doesn't quite have the blocking, but does manage to get about four yards in the run. We'll take that at this point. Second and six now, clock winding down. Looks like they are committed to making as much time go away as possible, and Pedro Timmons is going to catch that little drag route and make it go into eight yards. And you can see it right there, total yards 85 to 16. The defense has just been phenomenal, but our offense hasn't been great either. Although, they're making things happen right here. First and 10, search proves on a great run. A few little jukes there. Now I'm first and 10, Price, play action, and he gets dropped for a sack. Oh, the play action with this team just doesn't work because we can't hold up for him. And it's third and 14. He's going to throw it and it gets picked off again. This time by Webb, the safety it looks like. Oh, just a desperation heave right there. And that was unnecessary. First and 10 running back in motion. Looks like a little swing, but no, it's just a diversion for a drag route. Siteleki Nunn, who gets 12 yards in the reception. First and 10 now. Love dropping back. He's going to throw this one. A little floater past Lyles who does catch it and gets about six yards on it. And this up-tempo offense has, this drive been pretty hellacious, honestly. Love now, option, not brought down. Goes back in, fumbles the ball, and Kerry Webster gets it. He got popped in his little arm socket there and just let the ball go. Wow, once again, this defense is bailing out the offense. This time, a little wide receiver end round to Lance Roach, who uses his speed and gets about six yards on the run. Third and two now, and it looks like it's an under center handoff to Serge Cruz, and maybe this is what you need to go to on short down conversions. Serge Cruz makes that into a 10 yard gain. He's having a decent day so far. Nothing insane, but better than anybody else. Jason Price, play action, rolls out, and he's going to have a wide open Ray Cantrell there on the post route. Maybe some more of that, some rolling out, I don't know. First and 10, throw over the middle to Robbie Mackey. Getting the fullback involved today, it seems like. Can you imagine a guy like Cozy Minza being in the program and actually having him involved as a fullback? Third and seven, and Roach drops an easy one. That's gonna be fourth and seven. See if they actually punt it here. 20 seconds remaining. And they don't, and this time nobody in the stadium is surprised, and that's a terrible throw and a really well-covered defensive secondary. And after, in 20 seconds, forcing San Jose State to go three and out, we get one more shot at the ball here. The defense today has just been phenomenal. One of the best first halves on defense I have seen, and Lance Roach can't quite make anything happen on the return. That's actually gonna bring us to the end of a very short first half. Very few penalties called, and Pretty much continuous clock. We'll see if things continue for the defense in the second half after this. And we're back here and San Jose gets the ball to start the second half. Let's see if our defense can keep it up and on first and 10, they do. That's gonna be a drop behind the line. One yard loss on the pitch and catch from San Jose State. Third and 11 now, he did manage to force him to a third down. And on the screen play, Josh Love gets rocked. That's a coverage sack right there on the screen. We were ready for it. Defense is looking phenomenal today. Second and seven on the timing pattern. Fine, Lance Roach, who does make a man miss, but he recovers really well on the tackle there. Gotta give that cornerback credit. Could have been a touchdown. First and 10 now, time winding down. We have loved this slow run the clock out style today. And Serge Cruz gets a good block from Frank Charles and he takes it in the five yard line to the four. Nice run by Serge Cruz, that's almost 30 yards and he's having himself a decent day. And off to DD Jenkins here. And he gets in, Diedrich Jenkins, four yards for the touchdown run. Maybe we should keep things on the ground today. Passing game, it's a little shaky. First and 10, defense have one more chance to shock the world and prove themselves, and they're keeping things going. I don't even think, does San Jose State have 10 yards of offense right now? Definitely not after that play. Man, Tyler Nevins brought down well behind the line. Third and 15, can we get another quick three and out here? Josh Love takes the snap, drops back, and does find his man Gaither over the middle, who just manages to get the ball across the first down. At least that's where they'll mark it. And they're going to hurry up. Another third down here. Defense has been good. At least we've been forcing them in their hurry up to not quite burn us. 
They do get a first down there, though, so defense may be starting to get a little tired from all that they've had to do today. Second and three now. Josh Love drops back and wide open finds his man Gaither, Bailey Gaither, with the 10-yard touchdown reception. And that's going to make it 14 to 10. First and 10 now. Serge Cruz with the ball. He's stretching it out and uses his power to run over the cornerback and get about seven yards on the run. It's going to be third and four now after a one-yard loss. And it's a triple option, it looks like. Jason Price taking it himself, and he's so dang slow, but he does manage to get the first down. Can't wait till we get a faster quarterback in to run those triple options. Second five now. Jason Price dropping back. Throws it over the middle. Robbie Mackey again. We're getting the fullback involved today, and I really can't wait to see Kosey come in and us use him all the time. And that's actually going to do it for the third quarter. Wow. We've just absolutely been draining this clock, and yeah, we only have a four-point lead, but we've, we've held San Jose State to like maybe 80 yards and no time of possession. To start the fourth quarter, hopefully we can do more of the same here as this is another triple option. Price takes it, pitches it out, and the pitch gets caught by Ziegler. Oh no, what was that? Just hold on to the ball. Another costly turnover from Price who has already turned it over, what, three times? At least the defense is continuing things, sacking Josh Love for four yards. Now it's third and 11. Can the defense bail us out one more time? Screenplay to Nevins, and in fact, that's what the defense will do as they bring Nevins down well behind the first down line. That's going to be fourth down and four. And it looks like San Jose State's going for it. They realized that with how their offense is played, I don't know, their defense has done well, but it doesn't matter because Blackwell's going to get a first down here. Defensive breakdown on fourth down. Probably not a bad call for San Jose State to go for it there. Second and four now. Josh Love drops back. Waits over the middle. Walker. It's going to be a first and goal at the five-yard line. They're starting to look decent now. Offense may be in sync for San Jose State. And on second and goal, a run straight up the middle. Uncontested Tyler Nevins touchdown. And after the extra point, it's going to be 17 to 14. We're now behind. Maybe time to start playing a little up-tempo. He's surprised third and 11. Does find Lance Roach over the middle of the field. That's going to be a 12-yard pitching catch there for a first down. And it looks like, no, they're still staying committed to this uh, run the clock down tempo. And Lance Roach again over the middle. Well, if he keeps bailing you out, maybe you can run it down. Three and a half minutes remaining now. Clock running down. Serge Cruz on second and seven. Going to run it up the middle for about four yards. Makes it a manageable third and three. And on third and three, Jason Price making adjustments. He's going to take the snap. He's going to throw it over the middle. And it gets picked off again by Shelton. What a terrible decision. And now that's four turnovers solely on Jason Price, not anyone else but him. What a terrible game from Jason Price. And I'm starting to get a little angry. It might be time to pull Jason Price. Third and ten. And Timothy Clay can't quite make the pick, but he does stop it. That's a quick three and out. We get the ball back. Defense has bailed us out all game, and we can't reward him. And on second and eight, oh, no. That wasn't Jason's fault at all. That was the wide receiver drop in that pass. Oh. Third and eight. Let's see if the offense can make something happen. Throw over the middle. Cotton. He catches it. Gives us another chance. Okay, first and ten. We got a chance here. Jason Price drops back. He's going to throw it across the middle, and it gets picked off again. Interception number four and turnover at number five for the senior quarterback. What a terrible day from Jason Price. Third and six. Can the defense bail us out once again? Broken tackle for Tyler Nevins, and he's free. The full-on blitz does not pay off, and that may be the nail in the coffin for San Jose State today. They may have just beaten us. One last chance. Jason Price still in a quarterback. What are you doing? I can't handle this. Jason Price drops back and picked off. That's it. I'm done. I'm walking out of the stadium, guys. I can't deal with this. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully against Army we have a better showing. Good grief.